Welcome back everyone to another episode of Drive365. Today I'm driving the 1987 Nissan Maxima that we detailed in the last video. If you haven't seen it already, go ahead and check it out. It's basically a video of us uh, detailing this car from bottom up, inside out, just because it's been horribly neglected for the past two years. But uh, go ahead and check that out. In this video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys why we still had this car and why we did all that stuff. Um, so basically to start off, it all starts back in like the 80s when my dad first got this car. It was the first car that my dad had bought when he came to America and essentially it's his first car. Um, that itself is super awesome. I love the I love that whole story about how he kept his first car that he ever got. And most people usually like to keep like hold on to that thing. Uh, so that's why it's so so valuable to him. Um, so going on to my mom, when my mom first came to this country. My dad picked her up from the airport in this car. So when she first, the first car that she was ever in in America was this car. When my older brother was born back in 1993, he, when he was ready you know, to come home from the hospital, my dad went and picked him up in this car. When I was born and when I was ready to come home from the hospital, my dad went and picked him up in this car. And when my little brother was born and ready to come home from the hospital, guess what car my dad went and picked him up in? So <laughs> for people that love cars so much and that, you know, just love everything about them being or having still being able to drive the first car that you were ever in like ever is super awesome but i think that's you know one of the coolest things and i don't think other, many other people can say that but uh i mean I, I can so aside from it being super sentimentally valuable, valuable to us it's also a very cool car um for somebody who's not into cars and for somebody who just needs something to get from a to b this isn't the car for you you're not gonna like this car for pretty much any reason at all um but for those of you who can appreciate cars and do like them this car is from 1987 as you guys have already known but the features it has are features that some cars nowadays even don't even have uh for example power windows power locks power mirrors power seats um and even back in the day this not this particular one but the nissan maxima uh spoke to you so if you're, you know, you were driving and your door was open, it would tell you that your door is ajar. And if it, you know, your gas light comes on, it would tell you your, you know, fuel level low, uh, stuff like that. So that being back in the day in 1987, 30 years ago, is pretty crazy to think about. Um, the only other cars back then that had even some of those features were like the high end, like Mercedes S classes or you know, just stuff of that category. So for a Nissan, I had that. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy, pretty. Uh, I guess groundbreaking for them. So some future plans that we have for this car, um, right away it's obviously going to need a new battery because you guys have seen it's died like three or four times on us and actually just before I was making this video it died so I had to jump it. But definitely needs a new battery right you know, right away. Um, the oil in it is still you know, two years ago and you're supposed to change it at least once a year so that obviously needs to be done. Spark plugs need to be done. Um, tires when we brought it out are a little bit dry rotted just because it's been sitting for so long. But after we filled back, filled some air back in them, it, you know, they seem okay, but still those are probably something that we should look into. Um, and that's just, those are things that would need to be done fairly soon uh, to be able to drive this car on a regular basis. But some things that we have in mind for long term are to get it looking cosmetically, you know, back to the way it was. And for that, you know, we're gonna need pretty much a new paint job all the way around because we got a paint job on this car about 10-ish years ago not ex uh, exactly sure when but that you know with in being in Ohio it's definitely started to bubble up in some spots uh, back when I showed you that spoiler where the spoiler was in the, uh, in the last video you can kind of see where like that's bubbling up and you know those rivets or in the holes for the spoiler and just along like the, the back window the doors on the bottom just stuff basically we'd expect it to rust and start in rust and uh, you know, it's right at the early stage, so if you catch it now, you're gonna be able to fix it, but the more you wait, the worse it's gonna get, and you know, the sooner the better, really. Uh, so that's probably in the next coming years, and then the end goal with this car, I would assume, is it needs everything done in the suspension. So um, I don't know if you can tell right now, I'm driving straight, but my wheels turn about 45 degrees to the left, and that's obviously not good. So the alignment needs to be done. Uh, like I said, the entire suspension needs to be basically done. And since we're doing the suspension, my brother and I really want to uh, lower the car and get some nice wheels for it, just so it looks a little better sitting there. Um, <laughs> my dad's not a huge fan of that, but you know, if we're doing the suspension, might as well do it now and 
make everyone happy. But uh, so that's that's basically the long term goal for it. We're not trying to you know make this any sort of like show car or anything. We know it's never going to be that, but we do want to make it a little bit better than what it is right now. And um, not that I have any complaints with it right now. I love it, but I think it could be a little better. Um, speaking of the cosmetic stuff, that spoiler in the back. You know, a, a spoiler is also another thing that we need to get. I found one for two hundred dollars, but it's you know unpainted. So obviously, when we get the car painted, that's when it would uh, go on. But just little things like that um, need to be done throughout the entire car. So guys, there you go. That's why we love this car so much, and that's why it's so special to us. Uh, this was basically everyone's first car in the family, and I do not see this car going anywhere ever, pretty much. So if you guys like that, if you guys like this whole video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification button to be notified when we have some new videos coming out. Um, and also leave a comment down below on what you think of the car, uh, what you like about it, what you don't like about it, or even I want to hear what your guys' first car stories were. Uh, how you got them, where you got them, what kind of car it was, um, what you did with them, if you still have them or not. I'd love to hear all that stuff. Uh, so go ahead and leave a comment down below. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at underscore drive365 underscore. Go ahead and message us on there if you guys have any cool stories like this. Um, anything. I just want to. I just want to know what you guys thought and what you guys, you know, what your guys' uh, first car stories were. So go ahead and do all that, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.